into this today. And I must say, like, these slides are intentionally ugly. Uh, my goal here is to weed out those who aren't actually interested and only keep those who are genuinely interested around. Um, sorry, but not sorry in advance for the black and white slides. If these black and white slides do bore you, then growing your Instagram probably isn't a priority for you right now. Uh, we're going to get into this right now, how I hit over 50,000 followers and made over a million dollars with my online vegan business. Once you crack the code and once you know how to start bringing it in, it's just a matter of time before you as well hit over a million dollars yourself. By using this one simple method I'm going to be sharing with you here in today's class is actually it's one simple method, but there's like five strategies that go into it. So by using these five strategies, I was able to go from getting just 50 followers a month, even losing followers some months, to now getting over 2000 followers a month and starting to being able to earn over 10 grand a month with my own eBooks and courses as a result. So what's cool is like we live in an era where it's like you can do this with Instagram. You can do this with YouTube. You can do this with TikTok. But today we're going to be talking about Instagram specifically. And thankfully, as I grew, I did pay close attention to my growth. I took copious notes along the way and I documented exactly how I did it step by step. And so that now anyone who's interested can learn how to replicate these results for themselves. And today I'm going to be pulling back the curtain for the first time to reveal how I was able to go from zero followers to over 50,000 followers on Instagram, catapulting my income from zero to over a million. Um, and once you truly understand the Instagram algorithm like this, you're going to hold the same power I have to getting a lot more attention on your page, more clicks on that link in your bio, and of course, a lot more sales. Okay. And what you're about to see here, this is really the hidden secret. For some reason, more and more people are not talking about this. It's the hidden secret to making it work online and actually making sales. Because a lot of people, you have a product, you have a service, but you're just not getting the eyeballs on your page, okay, on, on your offer. And if you think about it, if you don't have an audience at all, you have no sales at all. Like go talk to a wall and try to make some money. It's not going to work. The ball's not going to buy. The only people who buy are, I mean, the only time you're going to get money is from people in the audience. That's it. So no audience, no sales. Whereas when you have more followers, you have a bigger audience. Followers equals audience. Bigger audience, more sales with less effort. That's the thing. It's like if you have 10 million followers, it's not that difficult to make sales. It's just a numbers game at that point. Like when you have tens of millions of followers, you could sell anything and you'll make a lot of money with it. So that's why you see a lot of big names on Instagram doing a lot of like marketing for other companies. They're doing like affiliate marketing or they're like promoting some beer, or they're promoting some energy drink, or they're promoting some merchandise. They make a killing off that because they have tens of millions of eyeballs on that. It's just really easy for them. But us mere mortals, we don't have tens of millions of followers, but we can still crush it with a few thousand followers. Uh, but everything I'm going to share with you today, all of this is going to work a lot better when you do have something for sale. I'm going to say that upfront and be transparent about that. If you're just trying to grow your Instagram for the sake of growing it, we don't actually have anything for sale. It's going to be very difficult for you. Okay, so type a one in the chat if you actually have something for sale. Type a two in the chat if you don't have something for sale. So one, if you have your own product, two, if you don't. Sophie has a product. Bernadette has a product. Santana has a product. Laura has a product. Sweet. Jane has a product. Uh, Juan has a product. Okay, and a few of you, Andre, still need a product. David needs a product. Okay, so again, this isn't going to work that well if you don't have your own product. Just saying. Because with the sales that you get from that product, you can then take a percentage of the money you get from those sales and spend it on growing your page even faster. Okay, the best investment you're ever going to make is in yourself. And the best way to get money coming in is by obviously making sales online. Uh, but if you do, if you only have a nine to five job right now and that's your source of income, at least you can spend that on growing your following as well. That works as well. That's what a lot of people start out with doing. Uh, and the reason is because when you, when you have money, you're going to be spending it to grow even faster. You're spending it on things like paying for boosted posts, hiring a content team, and hiring a virtual assistant to do everything I'm about to share with you for you. Pay people to do this for you. That way you can free up your time and free up your life, right? Because you don't want to spend your life on social media, do you? Yes or no? Do you want to spend your life on social media? Type in the chat. No, of course not. No, hell no. You want to be able to spend it doing front flips off the dock and getting water up your nose, right? That's, that's what's fun. So you want to live your life. Like we, we all have a life we actually want to live. Social media, we just, it's let it be a tool. Let your business be a tool for living the kind of life that you want to live. Um, so again, make sure you have something to sell like an ebook, a course or a coaching program. These are the top three best sellers of all time with courses and coaching programs being the, by far the most profitable thing you could ever sell and make the most amount of money from. If you do want help with that, make sure to stay to the end. I'll give you a super helpful video training for free. It's going to show you how to create your own irresistible offer and create your own digital product. Um, and if you'd rather just have me do it for you or do it with you, you can do that as well. So let's get into it. How I hit over 50,000 followers and made over a million dollars with my online vegan business. Thanks to this, these five strategies right here. Get ready to take some notes here today. These are the five areas that you need to master right now. Write these down. Your profile. 
your profile, your catalog, which is like your content, your outreach, your collabs, collaborations, and ads. If you master these five, you will crush it. There's nothing even outside of these five anyway. So don't let anyone else confuse you. There's like these five things and that's it. Okay. The good news here is that all five of these things I just listed, they're all relatively easy to master. They don't require good looks. They don't require any photography skills. They don't require any marketing background either. You can master all five of those things without being extremely good looking, having crazy photography skills and having extensive marketing background. But the bad news is that you do need to be consistent with them. Okay? You don't just set it up and forget it. These need to be consistent. They need to be consistently applying these tactics. Don't worry about that because I'm going to show you how to guarantee you're consistent with using them by something called consistency autopilot, right? So the first three that I listed here, the first three are pretty basic. Profile, catalog, outreach, very basic. Um, and you're almost going to say, oh, these are stupidly simple. And I agree. But they set you up to succeed with the last two, which are absolutely incredible. And the last two are which like it's where you see massive growth. So the first three are kind of like the setup. And then the last two is like where you really start to grow very, very quickly. So let's get into it. Profile optimize. You got a profile optimize to look the part. This is this is this is it right here. And by the way, everything I'm sharing with you is either a mix of what someone else has taught me or what I've tweaked and, and discovered myself. But I didn't make this stuff up like this is just this is just what works really, really well. This is not theory. This is just facts. If you do every single thing I say on here, you will grow your account for sure quickly too. So get a profile optimized. You need a profile picture. Type a type a two right now in the chat. If you feel like your profile picture is bright, attractive and human. If you feel like your profile picture is like awesome. Type a two. Yelena, Laura, Samantha. Okay. So what I'm going to do, by the way, at the end of this session, at the end of the session, I'm going to be reviewing your Instagram pages and I'm going to be uh, critiquing, critiquing, critiquing as well, giving you guys a bunch of feedback. So you're, a lot of you say you're at a two right now. Okay, great. Uh, next, you need a bio, ideally with a freebie. Bio with a freebie. This is key because a lot of people don't have a link in their bio. And a link in the bio actually, link in bio, it actually gets people to click on it if, if, you, if you do it right. And when people click on the link in the bio, they download something for free from you. And then they start to build a relationship with you. And when they build a relationship with you, they're much more likely to stay following you. How many times have you like unfollowed someone? Cause you're like, who the hell is this person? Type of five. If you just unfollowed someone that you're like, I don't even know who this person is. How am I following them in the first place? But five. Okay. Yeah. To prevent that, build a god dang relationship with your people and do that by giving them away something for free. Again, link in bio gives them something for free. They build a relationship with you. They, they know you, they like you, they trust you. They're going to keep following you. I unfollow people because I'm like, who are they? Unfollow. But if I got something for free from them, I'm like, no, this person's legit. Okay. This is so key. Buy with a freebie. Not only is this going to make you a lot more money, it's going to get you a lot more followers because you're not going to be losing followers as quickly. Right? We still lose followers as time goes on, but we don't lose followers as quickly when we have a free link in bio. Next, uh, you got to have some highlights. And the reason you want highlights is because highlights Again, they allow you to build a relationship with your people who start following you. It's, it's pretty hard to get to know someone just at a quick glance, but when you like uh, on their, on their grid, but when you watch their highlights, you can learn about their story. You can learn, a, you can learn about the before and afters. You can see some testimonials other people have given them. You can, highlights tell a lot. Okay. So make sure you have your highlights set up on Instagram as well. Then you want a minimum. If you're just starting out at least 12 really good looking posts to start and you can repost other people's pictures. That's totally fine. Just make sure you give them credit. If you don't have at least a minimum of 12 good looking posts on your profile, you're, 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 you're screwed. It's just, you're not going to grow quickly that way. You need at least 12 good looking photos and obviously a lot more as time goes on, but we'll get into that in a sec. And you want to be following at least a hundred people. If you're following less than a hundred people, people don't really feel like they should be following you. Cause they're like, okay, well, this person's not even following other people. Why should I follow them? Be following a lot of people. Save your questions for the Q and A time. And we'll get to all the questions at the very end, or at least before we get to the end, even we'll stop for some Q and A. Um, next. So, so once, once we're clear on profile optimization, it's pretty easy to do that. Just do those things. Next, you got to focus on your, on your catalog and your catalog is like your grid. It's, it's your pictures. It's your, it's your, it's your, it's your catalog. It's everything you got on your page. It's all the pictures you got. So you want a grid theme. This is really key. All the top growing pages, they all have a themed grid and Instagram is like a content eating machine. It's really, really hungry. So at a minimum, minimum, you want to be posting at least three to five photos a day, bare minimum three a day. Even five a day is like minimum. You should be posting more than that. Like Instagram loves 
you posting content, the more you post, Instagram will show your page to more and more people. It loves, it's, it's, a, it's a hungry content eating machine. Unlike YouTube, YouTube, you can get away with posting like once a week and you'll still grow. Instagram needs content every day, lots of it. So three to five posts a day. And on those posts, add 30 hashtags to each post. That'll increase the amount of visibility each post gets. I used to not do hashtags on Instagram. Once I started doing hashtags, we grew so much faster. Same with the three to five thing a day. We used to just do one post a day. We were getting maybe 500 followers a month. Then we started doing three to five, and now we were up to 2,000 followers a month. Okay, so you grow much faster with the hashtags and with high amounts of content. And then you want quality photos. You can't skimp on quality photos. Like, don't think you need to take your own photos. You can if you want, but you don't need to. You can copy, paste, screenshot other people's photos. Just give them credit. Just make sure they're quality. Make sure they're good looking. It's, it's remarkable how many times people come to me and say, Tim, my Instagram's not growing. I go and check it out, and it's like obvious as to why. Your grid needs to be as attractive to humans as flowers are attractive to bumblebees. Okay, a bumblebee goes and pollinates a flower because it's attracted to that flower. The bumblebees are like followers. Your page needs to be like a, a flower that's very attractive to the bumblebees. Okay, on each of your posts, on each of your photos that you post, have a relevant caption. It doesn't need to be long, it doesn't need to be crazy, just a short little sweet caption. And underneath that, you can have your hashtags. Okay, you don't need to have a call to action in your captions every time, but uh, I mean, to, to say like comment down below or whatever, but we like to have the call to action in, in our captions saying, click the link in bio for the free thing. Click the link in bio for my free ebook. And after about a month or two of, of running a promotion on, on an ebook, I'll switch it out and say, click the link in my bio for a free video training. And I'll switch it out and say, click the link in my bio for a free masterclass or something. So I'm always switching out that, that call to action every few months just because you know people keep seeing it over and over and over again. They eventually want to switch it out. Uh, but I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the link tree thing just because uh, I only want to give people one clear option. Click link in my bio, get the free book, take the action. Don't get confused when you click my link tree and figure out or forget why you're there. How many times have you been to someone's link tree to type a me if you've been to someone's link tree and you have to like scroll down their link tree because they have so many options of links to click. Like you forgot why you're there. You forgot why you're there. You're like, oh, I clicked on this for something, but now I see coaching and I see I see I, this merchandise and I see these like other random link. I'm like, what's that? And your curiosity clicks makes you click and you forgot even why you're there. Um, as for your highlights, it helps to have a, a themed highlights themed for a theme for your highlights as well at the very top. And then reels. Personally, I haven't done any reels, but I heard they work really, really well. No pun intended. Uh, but I heard they work really well. So if you want more visibility on everything you do, use Reels. Instagram right now is really favoring Reels, has been for the past few months. So catalog growth, they just pump the content out there. Don't worry about it being yours. It's just about having pictures. That's how you're gonna grow very, very quickly. Um, the way to get your personality across is not in the pictures. The way to get your personality across is in your stories, your stories and your highlights. Let your, let your picture, let the pictures just be like other people's pictures if you don't wanna take all the pictures yourself. The highlight should be you and the stories mostly should be you as well. Okay? That's how you connect with people. That's how you get people get to know you. And that's how they'll stay following you. Because half the game, guys, half the game, there's two parts of the game. It's like, number one, get followers. Number two, hold the followers. It's really easy to lose followers. There's plenty of very famous accounts right now that are losing thousands of followers a month because they're just, they're not doing everything I'm saying here. They have thousands of followers, but they're also losing thousands of followers. So they're actually in the negative. Don't let that be you. Also, as you, so next, we're going to talk about outreach. Okay, and outreach is how you get free advertising. Very, very easy to get free advertising. All you have to do, all you have to do for this, and again, you should ideally hire all this out. Everything I'm telling you, you should delegate this out. There's no reason why you should be doing your own Instagram if you're making money online. Take a portion of that, those, take a portion of the finances you're bringing in and spend it on a virtual assistant to take care of this for you. I like to leave cat comments or get my team to leave cat comments. Cat comments stands for um, a compliment followed by add something else or you ask a question followed by a way of saying thanks. So a great example, and we can post them in the, in the, in the chat as well here, by the way, is you'd say something like uh, a compliment. So, hey, cool, cool looking jacket. Did you make that yourself or did you buy it on Etsy or something? And then thanks for all your awesome photos. You, you're awesome. Like that's a genuine comment. Compliment, add or ask, and then thank. That's a cat comment. Those comments come across as very genuine. You can also add in an emoji, but just make sure like that you post genuine comments because nowadays on Instagram, most comments come across as so lame. It's just an emoji. Type a one in the chat right now if you just see people dropping emojis in, on your pictures. Like those comments are useless. The spam. Don't be the person who just drops emojis. 
leave a cat comment. Cat comments are awesome. So the way to leave a cat comment and to do it properly is number one, step one, look at the trending page, do the trending homepage and comment on 10 of those posts every single day. I don't know why I did this, but step one, comment on 10 of those posts every day on your trending page. Step two is once you've commented on 10 of those posts, search for a certain hashtag like raw veganism or veganism, sort by the most recent posts and then comment on 10 of those photos. Then search for a hashtag, step three, search for another hashtag, maybe raw veganism, whatever, sort by most popular and comment on 10 of those photos. Photos. That's going to be 30 photos a day. This should take you no more than 45 minutes. But again, it's, you're not even doing it. It's somebody else. And think about this. If someone's getting paid 10 bucks an hour, it's 10 bucks a day for them to do this for you. 10 bucks a day over the course of a month, that's $300. Okay. In addition to all the other stuff they're doing for you, you could easily pay them 500 bucks a month and they'll grow your Instagram for you. And if you bring someone 500 bucks a month and they're growing your Instagram for you by a thousand to 2000 followers, and you have an automated sales system set up that allows you to convert at least 1% of those new followers every month, you're looking at at least 10 sales every month. And if you have a program that sells for 500 bucks, that's five grand giving your person 500 bucks, you're keeping 4,500. Or if you have a program that costs a thousand dollars, you're making 10 grand, you're keeping $9,500. The other 500 goes towards the person building the audience for you. And you're just coming in with the automated sales system delivering on the back end. So it's a really, really cool business model. This is exactly how we're being very, very profitable ourselves. This is how I've been able to hit over a million dollars with my uh, Instagram page. This is key and it's not difficult to do. You just have to do it. And it's really hard to do it unless you have, if you type a type a seven, if you have the entrepreneurial mindset, type a seven, if you feel like an entrepreneur and you don't like doing employee type tasks. Okay. Well, this is an employee type. So if you're struggling with doing this, it's because you're not meant to do it. Employees are meant to do it. There's plenty of people out there who'd be happy to do this for you for 10 bucks an hour. Happy. So quit being cheap and pay someone to do this for you while you build your empire. Don't waste your time doing this. Like do it to start for the first maybe week or something to get the hang of it, figure it out, but then delegate it out. Okay. Also, as you go and comment on all these people's pages, which by the way, gives you free advertising because now your profile is popping up everywhere. This, e this isn't even necessarily for the algorithm, although it does help for the algorithm because it shows Instagram that you're, that you're actually, uh, that you're actually active. What it really does is it pop makes your page, it makes your page pop up everywhere. So people are going to see your comments everywhere and they're going to click on your page because your profile picture is awesome. When they click on your profile picture and they're going to go to your page and they're going to see your pr awesome profile that we created that we discussed earlier and they're going to follow you. Also, as you do this though, send out 10 DMs per day as well to people that you find that you really think you'll vibe with and actually would be down for doing a shout for shout with at a later time. Shout for shout is when you post them in your story, they post you in your story and you say, hey, go follow this person. They're really great. Send these 10 DMs per day to people and also add them to like an Excel list, Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheets list. So you have a list of all these cool people who you can reach out later to at another time. So you can do a show for show. Really simple example of something to send them is, hey, Bob, love your pics. Your pics are freaking awesome, man. Uh, thanks for everything you do. Hope to connect with you more someday. Simple message. If somebody sent me that message, I'd be stoked. Type stoked in the chat if you got a DM from someone like that and they had a really awesome profile. Yeah, if they had an awesome profile and they sent you that DM, you'd be stoked. <laughs> Right. And so that's a great message to send people really simple, really straight to the point. And it lets them know that you're, you're serious. Let them know that you're, you're someone that they might want to connect with again in a future date. This next tip, this is, this is step four. This is like our strategy number four. This is where you really explode by using this one technique and, 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 and not even doing the commenting, but just using this one technique. I had a friend go from like 70,000, sorry, seven, from, from 7,000 followers to 70,000 followers in a year. And then from 70,000 followers to 500,000 followers the next year. And now she's over a million followers just from doing this. She's hijacking other people's following. She's hijacking other people's following. This is the ultimate hack. And this is what's allowing us to grow very, very quickly. So what we do is we create an Excel spreadsheet of accounts that range between a thousand and a hundred thousand followers who have similar content as us. And you can either create this spreadsheet yourself or you can hire someone to do it for you. I highly recommend hiring someone to do it for you. If you do, expect to pay them about $1 per account that they find for you. So you give them really specific advice. You say, hey, I want you to find other vegan accounts who, I mean, I want you to find other vegan accounts who are between 10 and 20,000 followers. Or if you're just starting out and you only have a thousand followers yourself, then you might say something like, I want you to find a, I want you to find pages that have about a thousand followers. And I'm just really low on battery right now. I'm gonna charge up. Give them, give them specifications on what you want their, what you want the pages to look like. You can give them a bunch of examples. I like to give examples and say, Hey, here are a bunch of examples of accounts. Can you please find me? Can you put, can you please find me um, more accounts? Pay a dollar per account. Once you have a list of accounts, send different DMs to them asking them 
for sure, for sure. And test out which DMs work the best. I can't give you like a guaranteed winning template because it's going to differ niche to niche. I know some niches, you can send people DMs and you can just say, hey, you want to do show for shout? And it works. Other niches, you have to finesse it a bit more. Okay? So here's some examples of, of some DMs that work really well when you're reaching out to people who you want to do a show for shout with. By the way, this only works if you have a sick catalog, if, you're, if you've got your highlight set up, you've got an awesome profile picture, if your captions are legit, if you're following over 100 people, like you have to do everything I said prior, right? But here's what you can send to these people. Something like, hey, name, love your post. I think my followers would also love to follow you. Are you up for doing a show for shout in the story sometime? Or, hey, name, awesome photos. Would love to do a show for shout with you if you're up for it. Pretty sure all my followers would love to follow your pics or would also love your pics. Or, hey, name, uh, looks like we have a very similar Instagram page and have about the same amount of followers. Would you ever be up for doing a story for story shout out so that my followers can get to know you? And one little tip here, this might not sound like much, but one actually... It's a little tip, but it goes a big way. I've had, because I test this a lot. And what I found actually works, makes this work better is if the first message you send them before sending them this, any guesses? What would I send them before sending them a message like this? Take a guess. If you want people to really like you and want to do a show for show with you, what would you send them before sending them this message? Any, any guesses? Bernadette says a cat message. Uh, yeah, you could do a cat. That's a great idea, actually, Bernadette. Do a cat comment on one of their posts for sure. Uh, but I would probably do it like the day before. I wouldn't do a cat comment the same day. That would feel like kind of um, like you have ulterior motives. So I'd do a cat message like the or cat comment, sorry, the day before. And then the next day, send them a message. But um, yeah, Yelena, send them one of their posts. Send them a picture of them. Exactly. Send them, people love pictures of themselves. That's why they post. It. So take a get specifically a picture of them. Take a picture of their face. Send that picture of their face to them. And then they'll see it. And then your, your message will be underneath it. So they'll, they'll see a face that they trust, which is their own face. And then they'll see your message. And they'll, they'll associate your message with that feeling of trust. Really, really cool psychological tip that works really well. Um, then make a note on your Excel sheet or your, your Google Sheets to see which people actually responded to you and which didn't. Most people won't actually respond. Be okay with that. And if somebody had told me this a lot earlier, I would have appreciated it. It took me many months to figure this out. I thought like something was wrong. I was like, I thought this, I thought this technique actually didn't work. And I thought maybe something wrong with me. I thought maybe there was like this conspiracy and everybody hates me. But no, it actually turns out like 80% of the people won't respond. Totally fine. Totally fine. Even if you do everything right, 80% won't respond. That's why you, it's a numbers game. You got to just keep messaging people 10 a day. Um, and then follow up with the people that don't respond 30 days later, not sooner. It's kind of spammy if you do it sooner. 30 days later, what I like to do is I like to delete the original message I sent them. So there's no proof that I sent them a message before. Delete that message and then send a new one. This is going to do two things. Number one, it's going to bump you up in their inbox to the top. But number two, it's going to make it look like you're not needy because you're going to delete that first message and they're going to forget about that first message. And if they don't forget about that, if, and, and yeah, so you delete that message and then you post a new one in their, in their DM. And then when they see you, they're going to think, oh, I remember this person from somewhere. I don't know where. And there's no proof that you ever sent them a DM before because you deleted it or you unsent it. Okay, so this tip is so good. Guys, the stuff I'm, I'm sharing with you right here, it's so, it's so helpful. Like if you do it, if you hire your staff to do it for you, clutch, like these little things, they make a big, 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 big difference. There's literally no other way we'd be growing as quickly as we are if we weren't implementing everything I'm teaching you here. Okay, so everything that we've discussed over the past uh, 40 minutes here has been so crucial, every little thing. And then step five, do another shout for shout with the people who did, who he did one with before 60 days later. Don't do it a month later. It's too soon. Uh, again, it comes across as kind of needy. 60 days, even 90 days out, totally cool. But make sure to do another shout for shout with the people you already did one with before, and they'll be happy to do it again. It's so much easier to do a shout for shout with someone who you've already done with before than it is to do it with someone brand new. So in remember how I said like 80% of the people won't respond? Well, that's not the case with repeat shout for shouters. 80% of the people will do a shout for shout with you again if you've already done one with them before, okay? Make sure to go back and, and, and re show for shout with the other people. Um, that's the fourth tip. The fifth tip, the fifth strategy is by using boosted posts. This one's really simple. You simply take your most popular photo and or photos and you boost it. You give Instagram or Facebook, since Facebook owns Instagram, you just boost it, you give them 10 bucks a day and you set the setting to, like, where do you wanna send traffic? You send, send traffic to my profile and pay attention to what happens. Like take notes on, on your phone or somewhere. If you start getting lots of followers, spend more money here or keep spending the same amount of money. 10 bucks a day is a great place to start. And uh, your, pay, your picture is going to get shown to thousands of people. That's why it's important to um, also in the caption of this post, it's important to say, hey, if you love all things vegan, or if you're interested in 
raw vegan recipes. I have a ton of free ones you can get on my profile. Just come over to my profile and check them all out. Like this is going to be your ad and this will go to thousands of people that you wouldn't have been able to reach otherwise. And you can get really niche on who you're showing it to. You can tell Instagram, hey, I only want to show this picture to vegan in USA. So it'll only show your picture to vegans in the USA if that's like your perfect clientele. That's it. It's just spend some money on your top most popular photos. And you can tell which are your most popular photos by going into your settings and insights and then seeing which photos have gotten you the most likes and which photos have gotten you the most follows. I go to the ones who got me the most follows. So you can sort by which most popular post, but then you can sort by like which ones got me the most likes and which ones got the most followers. Click the one that got you the most followers. They're not going to be the same as the one that got you the most likes. Maybe for me, it's not the ones that got me the most follows are all the pictures of myself, my face and my body. Whereas the pictures that got the most likes, it's just some cool fruit photo, but I'm looking, I'm going for followers here, right? So I'm going to repost and boost posts. I should say the pictures of, of myself. And I'm going to change the caption so that it says, Hey, if you want posts that inspire you to be healthier, or you want posts that give you free recipes, come on my page and check it out a lot more. Uh, and remember, all of this is going to work way, way, way better if you have your own product for sale. You have to have your own product for sale. You got to have a link in bio where someone can go and actually buy something from you. Um, Cause that way you have the funds to build your team to do this for you. So I remember earlier I talked about how to set this up so you can be consistent and make it guaranteed that you're consistent by using consistency autopilot. Here's how to do consistency autopilot. Very simple. Number one, hire somebody. If they don't show up for work, they're fired. So they have to show up. So hiring someone is freaking awesome. So again, if you hate showing up and doing repetitive tasks over and over and over again, like I do, I am the worst at doing repetitive tasks. Uh, hire someone, hire someone, upwork.com. It's a great place to find someone. Also schedule your posts. You can, you can schedule like a year's worth of posts in advance at later.com. Like it's so simple. It's so simple. Here's what you do. You go to upwork.com. You pay someone to find you like 900 amazing photos. Really easy to do. They could probably do that over the course of like three days. Pay them a couple hundred bucks or something. Then pay them again to schedule all those posts into later.com. Now you have a year's worth of posts already scheduled. Done. You're guaranteed to post three a day. You can put the captions in there. You can put the hashtags in there. They can all do it for you. Done. Um, another way to really stay consistent with this and, and stay consistent in general with whatever work you need to get done is work with a partner. I, I like to use focusmate.com, uh, but there's other sites out there. Um, there's even, even inside my own coaching program, we offer something like focusmate where you get on and work with other vegans on building your Instagram, building your product and building your ebook. But you, you gotta, you gotta work with somebody like humans. We are social creatures. We, we don't do things alone very well. Um, but when we do things together, it's really, really fun. So the big question now is like, are you going to do everything I just shared with you yourself? Or would you like me to do, to do it with you and or for you? Because if you want to do it alone, you can join the plant-based business community and you can get a ton of free training in there. Type a five if you're already part of the plant-based business community on Facebook. We got a Facebook group in there with tons of free training. A lot of you are already in there. Great. Make sure to go through that free training. It's incredible. It's better than most people's paid programs, I swear. So good. Uh, but if you want to do it with me or have my team and I do it for you, here's how we can help. Uh, right now, we're looking for a few vegan dream students that we can bring in at 10K a month for. Uh, and by we, I mean me and our other head coach, Lisa Maris, Raw Food Romance, who I just showed you. Most of what I just learned about Instagram growth is from her and then a few other tweaks and additions from other people who are also crushing it on Instagram. Um, and yeah, she's also used these same methods and she's now earning more money <laughs> than she knows what to do with. Like she's set. I called her up the other day and I was like, I was like, do you feel like you're set for life? And she's like, oh, heck yeah, bro. Like she's set. She's set for life. She's so good. And and she's, she's freaking following her passion. She's selling raw vegan recipe books. It's amazing. So if you fit the criteria of a dream client, we're going to personally work with you to create your own $10,000 a month at home vegan business. And you're not ever going to have to pay anything out of pocket either. Here's why. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to help you create a 90 day freedom plan. So this is where we'll hop on a call and we'll map out what you need to do over the next 90 days to actually create a $10,000 a month business for yourself with what you're actually passionate about. And there's no charge for this freedom planning session and it only takes about 45 minutes for us to do together. On the call, we're going to go over your idea for your offer, how to position yourself and your audience growth strategy, as well as how to obviously keep making sales so you can hit that $10,000 a month mark within your first 90 days. At the end of this freedom planning session, one of two things is going to happen. First, you'll love the plan and decide to implement it on your own. If that happens, then cool. We'll wish you the best of luck and just ask that you keep in touch in the Facebook group with us and let us know how you're doing with it. The second thing that might happen though is you'll love the plan and you'll want to hire us to actually personally help you implement everything and get you profitable as soon as possible. And if you do decide to hire us, we'll guarantee you make your entire investment back in 90 days or less. And if you don't, you're fully covered. Meaning we won't stop working with you until you've made 
your entire investment back. This way, there's literally no risk for you and you have nothing to lose out of pocket. But the only reason we're able to offer this is because we understand that everyone's situation is unique. Everyone we get on the phone with, their situation is unique. So first, we take the time to get to know each of our students. And only if we feel we can get results for you, we'll take you on as a client. So our dream client criteria consists of the following. You're vegan. You're between the ages of 15 and 55. You can read, write, and speak English. 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 Accents are totally okay. Uh, you feel like you have something to offer that can really help people. You have at least three hours a day to put into this. You're happy to show your face on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook and photos and video. And you're wanting to sell digital products like eBooks, courses, and coaching, and not just physical products like merch or supplements. Okay? And to be clear, this is not a course that we're selling where you're on your own have to fend for yourself once you get it. This is an individualized step-by-step -step coaching program where we actually take the time to work with you every day to ensure you're making progress and making sales. We'll help you with your offer, your social media, your ads, your tech, your customer support, your focus, your sales, everything. So if you would like professional handholding for creating your own program, here's what to do now. Hop on a call with myself or someone in my office and we'll go over your situation. We'll take a look at where you're at now, what you're wanting to do and what might be slowing you down at the moment. Once we have a lay of the land, we'll then show you step by step what we would do next if we were in your position. And after working with hundreds of vegan students, we now have the data to show exactly what steps are the most profitable. That way, if you do decide to work with us, you'll be clear in advance on what it's like being one of our students. And if you don't decide to work with us, that's totally fine. You'll still get a ton of value out of the call just from a clarity perspective of knowing what to do next. Again, obviously with an offer like this, these calls are not for everyone. So please only book this call if you're interested in creating your own $10,000 a month at home vegan business. So to book your call, you just head over to coursecreatorcall.com and complete the steps. After filling out the quick application there, you'll, you'll receive an email with a lot more information about our program, including a virtual tour and other students' experiences. And don't worry, these calls are not sales calls and there's no obligation to actually buy anything on the call. In fact, we won't even offer you anything on the call that you don't explicitly ask for. So even if you're not in a position to sign up right away on the call, it's no biggie. Uh, only if we both feel 100% confident in actually working together, we'll get you on a, sec a second call potentially to talk about getting enrolled if you wish. And once you're in, here's what you'll get. We offer private calls with myself and our other coaches. First session is with me to get you crystal clear on what you're actually creating and to plan out uh, exactly what, what we're gonna what we're gonna be implementing in our next session. Every Monday we go over your social media. So we take a look at your Instagram, your YouTube, and your TikTok, and we make sure you're growing your audience on social media. Tuesdays are done for you tech Tuesdays, so we help you set up all your tech, your calendar, your application, your funnels, your webinars, like all the stuff that like may give you a headache. Just come on Tuesdays and we'll take care of it. Like I said, if you're not the type to figure some of the stuff out or do some of the stuff, it's probably just because you have the entrepreneurial brain and you want to just be kind of doing the high level stuff. I'm in that boat. So all the done for you Tech Tuesday calls, I go on those calls and get my tech taken care of for me. Wednesdays, we focus on sales and delivery. And Thursdays, we get into deep work. So we actually get stuff done together, like on a three hour Zoom call. Fridays, we now have branding and design classes, making sure everything looks cohesive and looks good almost as good as these webinar slides. Saturdays, we focus on mindset with our, our, our meditation class, morning meditations, and then another deep work session. And then Sundays, we have another deep work session. That's like the full week of classes. And then we also offer done for you funnels. So all the websites pre-built for you, emails pre-written for you, product templates pre-created for you, like eBooks. Um, and so, 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 so much more. This is just like tip of the iceberg. Um, now, obviously an opportunity like this, it comes once in a lifetime and isn't something you're going to find anyone else offering right now because we're personally generating a freedom plan for you upfront for free and then letting you pay us later if and only if you decide you'd like our help over the next 90 days. But again, we're happy to put it on the line like this because our students always get great results. And remember, 90 day investment back guarantee. We make you 100% of your money back in 90 days or we keep working with you for free until we do. This is just because we're confident in our process and we're confident because we only work with our dream clients. As long as you show up and hold up your end of the bargain, we're going to be here holding up our end of the bargain and it's going to get done. I just advise you to book your call very soon before it's too late because right now we're offering a 40% discount on all of our coaching services. So coursecreatorcall.com to book that call. And uh, yeah, I look forward to speaking with you and helping you 
reach your goals. If you want that plant-based business jumpstart kit that we talked about earlier, uh, just send me a DM to Fritarian with the word jumpstart and I'll send it over. This course contains like a few hours of like really in-depth training that really helps you get the ball rolling. It helps you get clear on your offer and uh, your direction. If you want help there? Great. Time for some Q&A and review time. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. So, bam, bam, bam. Where's the Q&A? Uh, there. David, have you used Ninja Outreach? No, never heard of that. Do you suggest when starting a story? Do you suggest when starting a story, should I first use a poll for more engagement? If you want, it, it does. it's not going to make a difference. It's only if it's helpful for you. I just like to do polls when I'm trying to get some data. Uh, shouldn't you only use photos that you take that are yours? No, I don't take none of the photos are mine. We just give credit. And it's like doing a shout out for someone. A lot of people send us DMs actually saying, hey, can you post this picture? Can you post this picture? And we're happy to. So if you have a great food photo and you want us to post it, send it to us. We'll give you a tag and you'll get followers. Uh, are there many ebooks? Are there many ebooks that have lots of videos inside? No, not that I know of. That would kind of <laughs> defeat the purpose of an ebook. People want to read an ebook and uh, watch a video course. What are your thoughts on including some text in the photos, like titles? Nah, I'm not a fan. For ads, yeah, put text in the ads. Unless you're a meme account, like there are some accounts on Instagram that do that. That's like all they do. That's fine. But it's this grid theme. So when you say, um, include some text in the photos. If you can do it on every single photo, okay. But photos don't generally look good when there's text on it, dude. And the goal is to create a good looking grid. Like what amazing photo have you seen in your life that has text on it? Text ruins photos. There's no, like, look at, imagine the Mona Lisa had like text on it. it would be the Mona Lisa. Cool. So um, if you want me to review your Instagram, give you a bit of feedback, happy to do that now. Just uh, post your username in the chat and I'll review the first three accounts and then see what happens from there. Okay, so go to Zoom. All right, we'll check out Juan. Let's check out Juan's Instagram, see what could be made better. All right, so, ooh, dude, these looks like really good. These four photos look really good, man. That one looks amazing. That one looks amazing. This one looks amazing. This looks amazing. This I wouldn't post. It's kind of out of place. You go food, food, food out of place. This looks like, I'm just going to be serious. It looks like crap. Uh, but these four look amazing. This photo just no colors. It's no good. This one looks epic. Super epic. Great, but different style. You want to try, try and keep like the same type of style. Um, and then these are like more random. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're close. You're just a bit random at times. You want to keep like the, the whole page should look like this and this. The whole page. Nothing else. None of this crap. None of that crap. None of that crap, not even a cow, just this stuff. Uh, you definitely made improvements. I mean, that's what it used to look like. Yeah, it'll grow a lot faster with, with pics like that for sure. Um, cool. You just got a new follower, dude. Cha-ching. There you go. Yeah, just keep it keep it grid, keep it gridlocked, dude. Yeah, you can talk about mentality and compassion in your stories, in your highlights, even in some of your captions, but keep the grid themed grid theme. All right, let's take a look at Wolf Work. Okay, so I help people create the new earth reality in their lives with the plant-based plant -based health coaching and a medical medium compatible vegan diet. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, these types of pictures, just post them in your story. I wouldn't post them in your in your feed here. Makes the feed look a bit cheaper. But these photos are really nice. Yeah, I wouldn't post that. This type of stuff, post them in your post them in your story. You want your feed to look really, really nice. Yeah, like this is this is great. Quality, quality. Like, like okay, again, look at your page, right? Look at look at the look at the cohesiveness between all the pictures. Some of them are great. Like these pictures are freaking great. Then you got these pictures and this picture with text on it and stuff. So compare this with when in doubt, just go to Raw Food Romance's page. Look at that. Super cohesive. Okay. This is not by accident or fluke, by the way. This is intelligent design right here. Intelligent design. This is like you're kind of guessing, like, oh, I hope this works. This isn't the type of post to go viral. You want really, really good looking. So close. You got you got you got a lot going for you. Just stop posting the, the ones with text on it and it'll be great. And let's give you a follow. Boom. All right, let's check out um Laura from Hawaii. Hey, let's check this out. So Laura's mm, posting pictures of herself, which is great. Posting pictures of yourself works really, really well. Laura, what are you um no link in bio? That would be a, a yeah, just I put a link in bio, at least to a YouTube channel. At least link people over to your YouTube channel. Uh, these pictures are great, very inspiring. I was actually living like a minute away from here for uh, three weeks on Oahu. Yeah, it's going here every day. Swimming over to the most. I actually planted coconut 
probably sh illegal, but I planted a couple of coconuts on uh, on this island on the left. Really, really cool. Very shallow water. Such a nice spot. Um, yeah, I mean, these pictures are great. These pictures are great. I wouldn't do this type of picture with the white border. Yeah, you got you got great you got great photos. Um, I would do if I were you. I'd do pictures of you with food. Like I don't know what your best performing pictures are. You gotta look and pay attention to that. But like this picture is awesome. And I like this picture. You and food. You and food. Humans with food, especially fruit, is is really good. I'll do more of that. And then get a link in your bio to go to your YouTube channel. And then here we got Sam's. Yeah, just too much text. I'd get rid of all that text. Get rid of all that text. There's no point in having that text on there. But you post some really, I like the color. The color is really great. You have a good sense for even colorful photos. I really like. Post yourself, which is great. Confident woman. And uh, yeah, just get rid of the text. The text just ruins it. But the photos are great behind the text. Yeah. And then you got a link. So you got to give people a reason to click the link. Like, why would I click that link? Whereas you go to my page, get my fruitarian recipe book for free for limited time. Of course, they're going to click if they want a fruitarian recipe book. But why the hell would I click on that link? There's no instruction. So make sure you, there's a reason to click your link. All right, Terry, this looks good. Out of all the ones we checked, it's like the best one yet, in my opinion. Okay. Um, I'd get rid of that border. That border is kind of cheap. You don't need that border. I mean, did you do it to have more space? Or what's the purpose of having that border? I'm not a fan of the border. But other than that, it's it's really nice. You did have more space. I mean, it's really not unnecessary. Um, yeah, I mean, this looks great. With your captions, Terry, I would say make them much shorter, like uh, single sentence paragraphs. So put a, put a gap under weather. You're talking about having more space. You want space in your here so we can actually read this. So I have become a big food bowl person. Space or a couple dots. Whether it's a salad bowl, Buddha bowl, pasta bowl, space. Like you want gaps. This is too much text all at once. This is the type of comment not to leave. Don't leave a wow comment or even just a yummy comment. Leave a cat comment. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it. I would stop posting these types of stuff in your feed. I'd post them in your story. Same with this. I feel uh, I feel attacked, Terry. I feel, I feel personally attacked right now, taking this personally. Cool. Well, hope you all have a good one. I'll follow you back there. And uh, yeah. So that's it. Again, if uh, you want to hop on a call, coursecreatorcall.com. Be happy to speak with you. If you want to do this alone, send me a DM with the word jumpstart. I'll send you a jumpstart training. Go through that. Start crushing it. But if you want to speed things up together, again, coursecreatorcall.com. Choice is yours. Do it how you wish. Just spread the vegan message. Let's turn this world into a vegan world and uh, do the right thing. If you're going to go on Instagram, just do it right. What was your biggest key takeaway here today that you're going to go and implement right now? Biggest key takeaway, what was it going to be? What's your number one like objective? What's your number one strategy going to be? You're very welcome. Thank you all so much. What was your biggest key takeaway? Your number one like, oh my God, I'm going to go and do this. What was it? Move text posts to stories. Yep. Congruent grid posts. Yep. Make a theme and put a link in my bio. Yeah. Terry's got a great theme here. Yeah. A link in bio. Yep. Sort out free ebook. Yeah. Or you know what's easier than a free ebook? Free mini course. Send me a DM with the word jumpstart. I'll send you a mini course. Go see how I did that. And uh, you'll realize it's so much easier than an ebook. Ebook is so hard. You have to make every short every sentence is right. And it's so hard. Free mini course is so much easier. Just make some videos. Bang. Done. I'm going to redo my Instagram page from scratch. <laughs> oh, I apologize. Posting more often. Yeah. Looking for people to trade for show for shows. Yeah, it's huge. Get a call to action to make sure Instagram is consistent. Yes. Okay, good. You guys are learning, 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 learning. And here's the thing too. Before we, before we part ways, just know, okay, cool. You now all have the equal strategies, right? But knowing this stuff is one thing, actually doing it is another. And you're not going to do any of what you just learned until you're able to look yourself in the mirror and see a person who crushes it with their social media. Like when I look in the mirror, I see someone who has 100,000 followers. I have 100,000 followers on Instagram. I have 100,000 followers on Instagram. Right now, it's only showing 50.2 thousand, but I have 100,000. Like that's what I see. That's how I feel in the mirror. So it's like you have to see yourself as that person you want to be, not just with the amount of followers, but with the amount of money you make as well. So for example, my biggest month has been 93,000, but I see myself as someone who's who's doing 300,000 a month. Like 300,000 a month for me is like minimum. 300 grand a month is like bare minimum. It's like almost not even a, a big enough number to be exciting anymore because I felt it for so long. It's becoming like part of who I am. And that's how I know I'm going to hit it because I'm just feeling like it already. So everything I just told you is like, okay, it's cool, but it's not going to work until you already feel like you're that person. You know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't live in like in with your old mindset and expect to take new action. You have to mentally and physically be that new person. Be, do, have. Yeah. The being is, is, is everything. The being is everything. So hundreds of people are going to see this video. They're going to see the replay. 
Most people won't do anything with it though, because they don't address the mindset. They don't address that, that inner being. So make sure, okay, cool. You got some key takeaways, but go and really work on yourself. This is like self-improvement one-on-one. You got to work on yourself and, and start seeing yourself as the person that you want to be. If you actually want to take the actions that you know you can take, like nothing I said here was rocket science. It all works really well, but none of it's rocket science. And despite it being really easy to do, it's also really easy not to do, especially when you don't feel like you're that type of person. So don't think of yourself as the person who's struggling to grow their Instagram. You got to start seeing yourself as the person who's crushing on Instagram right now. Just trying to maybe speed it up a bit. But yeah, you, you got to see yourself as someone who's already crushing it. What do you say when people tell one that is tell one that one is too idealistic? What's the alternative to being idealistic? What's the alternative? It's like when people tell you you're an optimist, you're like, what, you want to be, rather be a pessimist? Fine. See how that goes. Cool. All right. Well, peace out. Much love. Adios. Take care. Ciao for now. Thanks a lot. Y'all rock. See you in person someday soon. We'll hang out at a festival or something. And uh, cool. Thanks, Juan, for the recommendation. Peace, 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 peace. Ciao. Much love. Adios. And aloha. Bye. Oh, I just saw Laura's question. Laura, are you there? Laura asked the question, do all the pitches have to be food or can you have different content as theme? Yeah, you can have different content for sure. The food just happens to work really well. But you plus food, really well. Cool. Ciao. Bye. Peace. Enjoy Hawaii.